it's not. That's exactly the word because it's like you see the war, man. So I don't know who you want to blame or not. But another one. It goes on and on. Look at this. Jonah Hill, ex girlfriend, posts, posts his alleged text, blasting him as misogynist. This is ex girlfriend, by the way. Like, what the fuck is wrong with these people, bro? Like, what the fuck's wrong with him? What, with her, bro? Like, she was with him, but now that you do not with him, like, all of a sudden he's a misogynist? So you were dating a misogynist? Bro, you can't make this shit out, bro. This is what I'm saying, bro. Look. John Hill alleged dirty laundry is getting aired out by an ex. That shit crazy, bro. Who's posting what she claims are attempts of all text from him and painting him as a toxic partner, okay? Surf instructor Sarah Brady. Sarah, Sarah Brady. J.S. former flame of about a year from back in 2021 is dragging the actor publicly on Instagram account. And she's not holding anything back in her, uh, whatever, of him as alleged misogynistic narcissist, as she puts him, as, as she puts it herself. And this is our couple of messages. And if I can even click this, yeah, I can. Or should I? Let me see if I can zoom in. I can't. All right, but I'm, I think you guys can see it though. So he says right here, on the left, right here. Literally, just say hello and leave the convo. I love how your therapist thinks I suck. I literally am the best boyfriend on earth says okay and then it goes on right here plain and simple if you read uh no it says plain and simple if you need he says serving with men uh boundary less boundary less inappropriate friendship with men to model to post pictures of yourself in a painting suit to post sexual pictures friendship friendships with women who are in uh, in an unstable place and from your wild recent past beyond getting a lunch or coffee or something respectful. I am not the right partner for you. If these things bring you to a place of happiness, I support it and there will be no hard feelings. These are my boundaries for romantic relationship. My boundaries with you based on the ways these actions have hurt our trust and there's and i say there's nothing misogynist about that text it's just having a clear boundaries either fuck with that boundaries or you don't and if you don't you're not the right girl for him but that's not how nowadays you know how they say nowadays common sense is not so common anymore it's true because if somebody says something like that and they made it easy for you, you know what I'm saying, to choose an exit sign, an exit, or you fuck with it or you don't, now you are actually shaming and you're saying, oh, that's misogynist, oh, that's insecure, that's uh, small dick energy. Like shit like, <laughs> that shit that don't make any sense. Like a shamey language. Like you'd be like, what? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, bro. This is the time we live in. You know what I'm saying? So, as a man, you can't even have the standards. Or otherwise, they're going to be like, oh, you are toxic. You're like, you're toxic. Like, you shouldn't be doing that. You should let her show her boobs to other men. She should, she should be naked. She should be doing whatever the fuck she want to do. She should be, you know what I'm saying, going, whatchamacallit. Girls now at night out. She should be, you know what I'm saying? She should be like doing whatever the fuck she's gonna do. She should be hanging out with other men. With her titties showing, with her ass showing, with, you know what I'm saying, half naked. You should not say anything to your women that 
might look at might look like discipline or otherwise they would say oh you're controlling you're control control freak or you are a misogynist or you you know what i'm saying you just you just you just don't you're just insecure no baby girl it just means like i am in control in my situation and my choices and what i want in this motherfucking life like you can't you can't bully me to 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 the corner and let you just fucking disrespect my life you know what i'm saying it's only one life that you got to live perfect perfect okay but anyways chat what y'all think about the situation let me know okay let me know what y'all think chat i just can't believe we living in this time but one more thing that i wanted to really talk about check this shit out Check this shit out. Check this shit out, chat. Like, so, this shit says, Usher, Saturday, sweetie, at Vegas show. So, Usher has been having fun lately, chat. Usher be having fun with not only... Look, look, look. This was... This is another one right here. Look, look, look. This was... Will you allow your girl doing this to another man? Would you allow your girl doing this to another man? If so, you are a fucking cuck, you are a fucking simp. But if you're not, then you have a standards, my brother. You have a standard. If you don't want your wife to be treated like that, then you have a standard, my brother. You have a standard. If you don't want your wife to oh, be hell no. like that, is she fucking. Is that see through? Oh, hell no. Is she fucking. Is that see through? Yo! Whoa! Yo! How can you allow your Whoa. wife to be naked like that? Right in front Bro. of a fucking music How like can you artist allow your wife in a public setting? Naked like that? that. Right in front like of fucking a fucking this artist. Music. Like she's teasing fucking Usher. Can you imagine what she's doing behind the scene? Without her husband being there? This woman, by the way, she hatches. She just had a kid not too long ago. This is what, especially black women in America, this is why they're easily manipulated. Like, look, look, like, she just had a fucking, like, this is what shows, this is the part of the manipulation. They show, they, they want to make you feel like this is okay. It's okay to do this shit. So regular girl, like average girl, when she sees this, she think that, oh, it's cool, I could do this. No, you can't. You cannot. If you are not single, you have no business of doing that kind of shit, bro. Nah, okay? You have no business of doing that kind of shit, bro. Nah. Yo, same as, same as sweetie right here. And YG, I don't know. There's no sign of anger from YG, they say. What, what, what the fuck can he say? He knows she's for the streets. He knows she's, she's for the streets. But... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I hope y'all, you know what I'm saying? I hope, I hope y'all see what uh, what the fuck I'm talking about, man. I hope y'all really see what the fuck I'm talking about, but... Maybe not. But I think that's pretty much it for me, chat. Like, hit the like button. Let me know. I'll be back maybe later, maybe tomorrow. I want to, like, set up a Discord. I want you to guys call lane. So, stay tuned on that for tomorrow. But there's one thing that I say before I go. And it goes like this, chat. Like, please... Make sure you take care of your fucking mental health. Otherwise, you don't, you don't want to be like fucking cuck Adam. You don't want to be like that. So make sure you take care of your mental health. So you can think clear and make a decision that make you a man. Until next time, my friends. Adios.